in the shoulder. A good modifi modification <clears throat> is to come here and rest your head in your hand. All right, we're gonna stack the hips. We're gonna lift up through the left side body so your left oblique is coming into action just a little bit. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. And then on your next inhale, we're just gonna do some gentle stirring with the right knee. So your right hand can come to the ground to support you. You can also bring your right hand to the right hip. And if this is a little tender on your left hip, you can come to lay on your blanket or your towel. We're just doing some stirring. This isn't really, this, this shouldn't be you hitting your max. This should just be a little bit of exploring, turning on that right glute, and of course mobilizing, <clears throat> excuse me, that right hip. Okay, reverse the circle. Continue to gently deepen your breath. If you're on that elbow, notice if you're kind of collapsing into it. See if you can treat it the same way as we do in tabletop. And release. Okay, we're gonna take the right foot now. You have two options. You're gonna keep it on the outside of this left knee and we're gonna open up through the right inner thigh this way, or you're gonna take it across the left knee and work here. And we're gonna take a couple breaths here. You can gently move your torso one way and then the other. You have shown up, hardest part's over. We're listening to our breath first and the body, the movement that comes out of the breath. And today, we're just remembering that in particular, this home practice is an opportunity for us to shift our energy, invite a perspective shift. And this isn't just like, oh, yoga, like this is science, like this is neuroscience, like our brain gets that opportunity to shift our energy. So I'm putting this early on in the journey so we can remember that and build on that. Okay, and then we'll release. <laughs> I'll hop off my soapbox and we're just gonna switch to the other side. So come on down to your right side. On the forearm or cradling the head, stack the hips, draw the navel up and in. So careful not to collapse all the way down here. Want, want us to all kind of think about engaging that right oblique a little bit here. And then let's stir it up, stir the pot. And of course, we're gonna be adding on each day, each week, creating a vocabulary, but especially now, especially if you feel like, oh, this is kind of slow. Listen, breathe, take in any outside sounds, airplanes, children playing, birds, bees. Soak it up, focus on the sensation, your form, let's reverse the circle. Hi, great. Um, yes, actually, I think uh, it is uh, a pretty uh, fun night. And I'm really looking forward to the weekend, so yeah, I mean, I'm happy. Uh, I'm actually uh, doing yoga, and I wanted to say, uh, you know, no pressure. <laughs> but it actually starts uh, this session uh, on the ground, and it's very, very nice. So just that, actually, is very relaxing, and maybe, I mean, it, it could be okay for some day before bed, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and if you're interested, it's like a goal center uh, three. And it's through the practice of bringing our attention to these things that are present in the here, in the now, that we can start to kind of let the day thus far go and even plans for the future. Okay, we're gonna bring that left foot now outside the knee as the modification. 
inside the knee is where we'll try. Both are amazing. Bring your, your left hand to your inner thigh. Never want to press the knee. It's kind of just a good general rule for all of us in these practices. You never want to put pressure right on your knee. It's just not, not necessary. Breathing, finding some soft, easy movement in the torso here if it feels good. Nice for that hip and low back. Five minutes nice, and then from here, we're gonna shift forward onto our belly. So you're gonna extend both legs. You're gonna Martha Graham, roll to the belly. It's okay to have fun. And then we're gonna come into Cobra or preparation for Cobra. So bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Actually, draw them in line with your rib cage. Let's, let's, let's go there. Draw them in line with your rib cage. Squeeze the elbows in gently. These are like little grasshopper legs here. Press into the base of your palm. Press into the tops of the feet. Press into the pubic bone. And here we go. Inhale, rise up, baby cobra, nice and low. Engaging the muscles of the back, finding extension through the spine. And then slowly release, nice. Press up to all fours. Take a couple cat-cows, follow the sound of your breath. So the, the movement and the breath are married. They are wed together. The action and the breath are synchronized. Keep your attention on just that as we walk the hands forward now. Send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog again. Marrying the actions to the breaths and the breaths to the action. And then you just might feel a shift. Shift you've been dreaming of. Or maybe one that you haven't yet, one that's unknown. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward, exhale, make your way to the top, maybe try something new. Let it all hang forward for a breath or two. Now bend your knees a lot, generously. Send your hips back, ground through your feet, slow and steady, draw your navel in, connect to your deep low abs as you send your fingertips forward and sit back into a chair. I know, I know. <laughs> Press in all four corners of the feet. Feet are still hip width apart, but it's okay if they've come together here. Send the hips back, draw the low belly in, draw the low abs up and in. We're breathing here. We're just cultivating a little heat for three, two, and then feel the empowerment, the love, as you stand up tall, send the fingertips way up high, and then wiggle the fingertips as you come into mountain pose. Standing tall, breathing nice, slow, deep breaths. Beautiful, then on your next inhale, we're gonna send the fingertips all the way back up. Right hand's gonna grab the left wrist. Just take a side body stretch here. One breath in and out, and then come back to center, switch. Take it to the other side. One breath in and out. Bring it back up to center, inhale in. Exhale, bend the knees, wiggle the fingertips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So today you can choose palms on the shins or palms on the thighs. Neck nice and long, so lengthen through the crown of the head and use your exhale to soften and fold it all the way back down. Fingertips come to the earth. We're gonna send just the left foot back, just the left foot. Good, left foot's gonna, excuse me, left knee is gonna stay lifted. Squeezing our thighs towards the midline and inhale, we rise up high lunge. Fingertips reach towards the sky. And we also know that hands on the waistline is a good option as well as knee on the ground. So we have lots of options here. We're creating a full body experience here. We're bringing our attention to our breath and to the alignment of both our bones and our energy, this upward current of energy through the front, this grounding through the back. Inhale in, exhale, open up warrior two, strong focused out beyond your right fingertips, deep bend in your, deep bend, excuse me, in your front knee, got excited. Great, then keep that deep bend in your front knee. You're gonna bring the right elbow to the top of the right thigh 
and send your left fingertips forward, up, around, and back. It's a circle. Down, forward, up, around, and back. Back toes are turned in, front knees bent. We're drawing the low abs in just a bit here. And the next time your left fingertips come all the way down, let it bring you down to your low lunge. And we're going to keep this spiral going as we send the right fingertips up towards the sky for a twist. Breathe into your belly here. Reach the left heel back. Lengthen through the crown of the head so the neck is nice and long. Beautiful. Inhale. Find the expansion. And then exhale slow and steady. Bring it back in. Back foot's going to lift up halfway. This is a somewhat annoying posture, but we're going to play with it. Pyramid pose. So the right toes are forward. The left toes are pointing towards the front left corner of your mat. If you have blocks here, this is a great pose to maybe lift the earth up to you. You can also use books. Just careful not to lock that right knee. Breathe deep here. Option to interlace the fingertips behind the back or to grab opposite elbow. Breathe in deep, inhale, exhale, draw the nose towards the knee, just play. And if you fall, if you stumble, I'll catch you, we're here to catch you. Sweet, then release the fingertips right away. Here we go, day three, lift the left heel. Let's just see what happens. We're gonna create a little bit of bend in that left knee and then we're gonna shift the weight forward onto the right foot, lift the left toes up. You don't have to lift them that high. They can just lift up just a bit. Now everyone, draw your right hip crease up, your outer right hip up. Think about that three-legged dog that we did before. And then if you wanna take it a little bit higher into a standing split, you can. <laughs> it's a little early in the journey, but let's do it maybe. Or we're here, we're just like lifting toes up. Play for a little bit. And then we'll release. We're gonna bring the left foot all the way back into that low lunge. Inhale to look forward. And exhale to plant the palms, step it back, plank pose. Inhale in, exhale, lower the knees, lower the belly, lower the chest. Drag the hands in line with the rib cage. Inhale, we rise up together, cobra, big breath. And exhale, we soften and release. Good, inhale, exhale, press up, power up, plank pose. Quietly whisper to yourself, I am strong. And then send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Good, deep breath in here. And a nice long exhale to release. Beautiful, we're gonna bend the knees Inhale, look forward. Exhale, make your way back up to the top. This time, feet together, really together. Let everything go here. Relax the weight of the head. And then bend your knees, send your hips back once again. Send the fingertips forward, rounding through the feet. Find your center here. Navel draws in and up, hug the low ribs in. And we rise up from that forward fold to Ukatasana. I love coming into chair pose from the ground up. I just feel like I can find my core, my center of gravity and push the limits, kind of shift my belief of like what I'm capable of and how I feel when I'm in a tough place, in a hard position. When I'm asked to do hard things. We're gonna build on this chair pose on another day, but for now, let's just see what happens if we get a little bit lower. Draw the navel in and up. Breathe. Inhale in. Nice. Root to rise here. Ground through the feet. Reach through the fingertips. Stand up straight. Big breath in, big stretch, and then exhale. Wiggle the fingertips. Take it all the way back down into your forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Find your version today. Nice, long, beautiful neck. And then exhale to let it all go. Fingertips come to the mat. We're gonna step the right foot back now, the right foot. Keep that back knee lifted. Reach the right heel back. And here we go, squeezing the inner thighs to the midline, sweeping the arms forward, up and back. Now, if you get here and you feel a little bit too wobbly for today, 
can bring that knee to the ground or hands to the waistline. Reach it up high if the fingertips are towards the sky, so way beyond your, your, your actual body, right? Some energy beyond. It'll change your experience. It'll shift your experience. Breathe deep, maybe send your gaze up, inhale. Nice exhale, warrior two. Pinkies back, head over heart, heart over pelvis. So stack the spine. Good, breathe in here, get long in the spine, press into the outer edge of that back foot, back toes are turned in. And then soften left elbow to the top of the left thigh. So we're connecting here, but we're not letting all of our, our weight go. So we're keeping, we're maintaining that integrity in the spine. Right fingertips go down, forward, up as you expand, and around, down, forward, and up, expand, Breathe with it. You can make adjustments as you go. You're in the driver's seat. Listening to the sensation. To make any adjustments to the shape. Let's do one more big circle. And the next time your right fingertips come down, let that bring you through your lunge, and then we'll continue the journey on into the twist. Left knee's gonna stay hugging in, it's gonna wanna come out. So press into the ball joint of your left big toe. Left fingertips reach up towards the sky. Breathe into your belly, send your right heel back. Good, breathe in, wiggle the left fingertips as you exhale, bring it on down. Great, fingertips come to the mat, we square off in our lunge. Here we go. Draw your navel up and in to help you bring that back foot up halfway. Right toes point towards the front right corner of your mat. Just take a couple breaths here. Pull that left hip crease back. Slight micro bend. That's kind of redundant. Slight micro bend. Slight bend in the knee. Z in the knee. Just breathe. Taking stock, noticing. Observing, left hip pulling back. And then option to maybe interlace the fingertips behind the back. If you do that, maybe you take the opposite thumb on top this time, or you can grab opposite elbow. And then drawing the nose in towards the knee. Breathing deep, careful not to grip in the toes. I just caught myself doing that. Nice, inhale in, use your exhale to slowly release the arms. If they were in a bind, we're gonna lift the right heel, bend the right knee, find a little groove, find a little movement, inhale in. On the exhale, the navel draws in and up towards the spine here for a little more stability and we work on lifting that right leg. Now it may only come up like an inch or two, right? And in time we might find that it lifts a little more and then maybe we come into a standing split, which is really with the hips square. So breathing deep, eventually we might take the hands behind the calf. Just giving us options here, breathing deep. Just playing, if you fall, we'll catch you. Does not matter how high you get that leg, it's the journey, the process of you kind of playing with this, with integrity and breath. It's gold, pure gold, all right. Wherever you are, let's release it. Let it go, send that right foot all the way back to your nice low lunge. Inhale, shine the heart forward. Exhale, plant the palms, step the left toes back to plank, but guess what, right away, knees come to the ground, and we're gonna swing the legs to one side to come through to a seat. We are nearing the end. <laughs> Send the legs out long, point the toes. All right, today let's like imagine we're holding something. So you get to choose. I'm gonna take it like old school yoga with Adrian and I'm gonna hold Simba like over the cliff, but you can hold a precious stone or like a ball of colorful energy or why not? Is this weird how you can hold a child you love? <laughs> I don't know. Benji as a puppy. 
give it some meaning if you want to, or just some, some love, some playful energy, because really this is a core exercise. So point the toes, send your arms forward. So we're coming into the C curve here. So we're slowly lowering through the lower back one vertebra at a time, slow, 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 until we finally release everything. Nice. Bend the knees, bring the feet to the mat, palms pressed to the earth, toes pointing forward. Inhale, slow and steady, draw the navel down, start to peel up the spine, lifting the hip points up slowly. Nice and slow. Think about sending your shins forward and your sits bones towards the backs of your knees. Lift the chest to the chin and then gently lift the chin to the sky. Breathe in this bridge posture. Nice, slow, full, deep breaths. Letting the breath help you embody the pose. And when you're ready, slowly release, starting with the chest and the sternum softening and then slowly making your way down. We'll do a lot of this type of spinal work, but I like to close my eyes when I do this type of work. It just helps me move a little more mindfully and get the most out of it, which is not necessarily what we're trying to do, but to, it helps me find what feels good. Extend the left leg out, hug the right knee in. Let's take the right knee over towards the left just to finish with a little twist. Breathe in deep. And exhale. Bring it back through center. Right leg out, left knee in. Biggest breath you've taken all day. And exhale, shift the hips to the left. Guide your left knee over towards the right. Nice twist. And bring it on back home to center. So you can extend the legs out long here or you can bring the feet as wide as your mat and allow the knees to touch for your closing posture both coming into a resting pose where you're not holding any parts of your body up in space. All right, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth here, maybe with a little sigh today. <sighs> and let's do one more like that. Inhale, close your eyes. And exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> So I'm gonna leave you with a little question today. This is in lieu of a, a mantra. Where do I want to create a meaningful shift in my life? That's the question. And you don't have to have any answers here. It's, it's really just a question to carry with you and allow for contemplation as it comes naturally. Where do I want to create a meaningful shift in my life? Or where am I ready to create a meaningful shift in my life? Et voila, draw the palms together. Thumbs up to third eye. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take good care.